Whoa. Hey, you guys. Good morning. I'm so sorry. I won't lie. I was on a walk with my kids just now when it occurred to me. I just completely forgot about take 10. So I'm so sorry that I missed you guys. I'm a couple minutes late. I'm out of breath because I ran up here. So it's, um, thank you guys for waiting. Those of you that are in here, I'm trying to get logged on so that I can see some comments. Um, but again, I apologize for being late. Things happen. This day has just been off already. So, um, again, so sorry that I am running behind. I will get this all set up. Um, good morning, Vicki. Good morning, Peggy. Good morning, Carol. Good morning, everybody. Oh, okay. I will try to catch my breath and we will get going. So today's um, Take 10 is all about nature. So the concept of the Take 10 is to just spend some time getting creative with your supplies and relaxing and having a good time and just focusing on the creativity and not necessarily the product. So the theme today is nature. It's spring. There are lots of flowers and trees and beautiful things. So I thought it would be um, awesome to kind of focus on nature. I'm trying to get caught up on the comments. I see I missed there was good news from Alma. I missed what it was. Oh, Alicia finally got to see your new grandson. Oh my goodness, that is super exciting. Yay for finally getting to see everybody. Okay, let's get going here. Let me pull out. I have some watercolors today and I've been having fun. We've done this before with the just plopping of watercolors. And so I thought we would kind of go with a similar theme today and then I would work over the top of it, kind of doodling and adding some florals over the top. Okay, um, I will set the timer. Alexa, please set a 10 minute timer. 10 minutes starting now. Now, the sad thing about florals from, uh, for me is that I am so bad with the names of flowers. And what's especially sad about that is that my sister is a florist. And so why am I so bad at flowers? I have no idea. It's just one of those things that just doesn't necessarily stick in my head. And so I have the worst time. So all the flowers I do today are just gonna be kind of nonsensical. Here is the challenge, something that you can do, sorry for sniffing into the microphone, something that you can do, take your watercolors like I'm doing, and again, just plop them on the page. I'm actually gonna add a little bit of orange into this one. Plop them on the page, let that dry, and then go back and see uh, cold in South Africa. Maybe less flowers. So you, you might be doing some bare tree drawing kind of deal. So take some of the colors, plop them down, and see what shapes emerge that you can come back and fill in. And I might try couple of different grains. We've talked before about how fun it is just to see what happens, what shapes naturally form from the movement of the watercolor. That is one of the most relaxing things about watercolor. Good morning in Georgia, Beverly. Good morning, Putty. Good morning, Bonnie. I saw you, Jane. I saw you come in. Good morning, everybody. I'm going to do some more purple. We all know I love purple and I'm dreaming of some more spring flowers. Let me know. Are you guys, do you have a green thumb? I do not. So my husband 
has actually stopped. I used to, my favorite thing are like hanging plants. I think they're gorgeous and I have always loved having them. Um, but my husband has made me stop buying them because I tend to just kill them. So that is, he said it's, it's a terrible investment because I just buy them and then they don't last very long and then it's a waste of money and I have to throw them out. So um, this is just regular paper. This is that same creative journal. I would say it's like mixed media paper. So it's not flowing quite as easily as it would. If you end up with puddles that you don't want, just take the edge of a um, paper towel, put it right in here. I am so embarrassed that I'm like, you should have seen, you all would have laughed. You should have seen my children. We were on a walk and I went, oh, it's Tuesday. And then my daughter turned and said, what does that mean? And I was like, it means I'm supposed to be at home doing a take 10. And this day has just fell off from the start. And I don't know why that is. I did a ton of work yesterday. And so I think I'm just extra tired maybe and so man and so we literally turned and we ran like we're just running down the street like crazy people in the morning and my kids are running and then they said mommy you should run too and I was like I know but then I'll be out of breath and it was just having crazy times over in my world this is almost dry I picked up a lot of color on that one Okay, I'm gonna come back now over the top of these with my Micron pens. And just add kind of a little, this one kind of looks like a heart to me. And this might not make sense, but I like to start my heart or my, this one looks like a rose. So I like to start my roses with hearts. And I'm just gonna kind of work around. I am not an expert doodler, but there are some awesome YouTube videos that you can look up with people doodling that have some serious skills on those. But I find this just to be a fun, do I think the tonic surface is worth the money? This glass media mat? I do. It is an investment. I would say to look out for a sale. They had the mini one on sale um, at scrapbook.com this past week, but I'm not really sure why, why you would want the mini one, if that makes sense. So um, unless you're traveling, but I would think that you don't do a lot of mixed media on the go. So I do like the bigger one. I use it, um, I don't know what I'm doing here. Now I'm just adding dots. Let's see. This one, I kind of feel like I'm just making up florals. This one doesn't even make sense. We should play like guess, guess the floral. What is, is there, my, uh, my Elisa's imaginary florals. Good morning from Texas. Can you cut on it with a straight edge? I would imagine that it would scratch. It's tempered glass, so it's you know nice and strong, but I wouldn't like put a razor blade to it. I'm sure it would scratch. You can see mine has a little bit of wear and tear. These are just paints, dried paints. If I really took the time to clean them up, um, they they would get clean, but. Okay, that one didn't quite work out how I wanted. But I'm gonna go in and maybe fill in some of these. Let's see how this. Let's see how this kind of goes in here. And then we'll kind of curl it on the edge. Over here. This is I'm trying to 
Yeah, when you film, I always take mine off when I film too, um, for sure. But it cleans up really nice, protects my desk. As you can see, this is my desk that has suffered some serious um, issues from me working on it. So it does protect it now. I do remove it when I film. This kind of looks like an artichoke. Sorry, that just hit me. I'm getting a little bit zany. Anyone else see my artichoke kind of coming up right here? Okay, and then I kind of want to try... Let me try this again. Letting this in right here. I probably should have curved this out as I started doodling. Here's the thing with doing these doodles though, is that you learn stuff. Like this isn't one, This these aren't ones that I would want to keep forever and ever, but I did learn stuff. I do like this one the best. I think this one is fun too. Uh, the green or the blue journal, um, the blue journal is the Dina Wakely Blue Edition Journal. And I do like it. It is challenging though. All of that different, all those different surfaces, that is not easy. I do have another art journal video coming out this week with it. It has not been an easy transition from just working in a more, um, I don't know, mixed media paper kind of journal from my Jane Davenport. It wasn't totally watercolor in the Jane Davenport, but it wasn't, um, it was a mixed media paper, I guess. And the burlap, I'm trying to think, is that what I did this week? I'll have to think. The, I think the burlap is coming next week, and I'm not totally sure what I'm gonna do with the burlap as far as what do you do when it is bleed, you know, with the bleed through. Um, because of course it's not solid. So I'm not totally sure how I'm gonna work that. I'll probably have to do a little bit of research and a little bit of play. But that's the fun of art journals, is I'm sure the first one that I do on the burlap will be a hot mess. And then I'll just go from there. So see, I'm just gonna connect some of my flowers here, my florals. Alexa. Stop the timer. And actually, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna mix in some blues. I don't wanna put the green right next to my fake artichoke thing here. Let's see, it kind of fade to blue. Oh, putty, I just got a sewing machine, literally just last night. It showed up. It's not like a high quality sewing machine. But I am super excited. I had to, you guys, I'm not a seamstress. So I had to FaceTime my sister in Texas to figure out how to, um, how to thread my sewing machine, which is sad, I know. Um, I, did t I took home ec in, in middle school, so you'd think that I'd be able to thread a sewing machine. But alas, I did not. So I got it threaded. It's sitting to the side of my desk just begging to be played with. So perhaps later today that will start to happen. Okay. All right, so that'll be my watercolor nature. I know this one was a little bit random, friends. I really do. And then you say I don't have to apologize. I really do apologize for running late, but I want to encourage you even if you are inside to play with some nature and you can either make up flowers like I did, do some trees, do some, do some different things that kind of, you know, get you excited about the outdoors and color. I am all about color these days because color just makes me happier. This page is just begging for black splatters, I think, so I really want to dry it so I can add 
those black splatters before we are done. I know the 10 minutes goes super fast every time. I was actually kind of getting into this one. I would have liked to add, this one would be fun to continue to add more layers. So you could totally get down a watercolor layer and then start working with acrylics over the top of the watercolor just for some more dimensional flowers. I think that would be a really fun layered effect on a piece like this. Gold splatters, do you think? Y'all tell me, Putty says gold splatters. And I was gonna do black because I love me some black splatters. I could try gold. Oh, stems. Yes, stems. Probably very appropriate. I feel like I need to fill it in more before I add the stems because I feel like they're very disconnected in this particular way. Debbie, you're into gold splatters these days. It's a woman after my own heart. All right. I hope that you guys have this Kurataki set. Um, uh, it is my favorite. I don't have the acrylic, the gold acrylic ink that a lot of people have, but I love. I love this gold set or this metallic set. Do some concentration. Okay. We will call that a day and I'll just let that dry with, I don't know about you guys, when I am using metallic watercolors, um, I find that they retain more when I let them air dry, which I don't know what the science behind that is. I don't have the pastel shimmer set. I use this one as my pastel set. This is a Prima set that I picked up. I'm sure the pastel one of the Kurataki are beautiful. Oh, the gloss sprays. Yes, those would be beautiful as well. All right, I'm going. Leaves would be good. Well, see, and I started to put in a few of them and see, I can come back. This is the fun about watercolor. You come back and you can like add in. So I have some of them in there and I started to like piece them in and you can kind of see them coming around. So you can play with that and just keep adding um, for a lot of fun. So try that today. Take some time, plop some watercolor down, see what shapes arise and what you can make of it and have a good time playing with your supplies. I hope that y'all's day is a little less crazy than mine has been thus far. So I'll try to go calm down, maybe have another cup of coffee after this, get my head on straight for the day. I hope you have a fantastic day. I hope you have a great beginning to May. I will see you all next week. I'll set an alarm just to remind myself how <laughs> that I have, I've, you know, this is week 17. I've done so well for 16 weeks so far, so that's okay. Um, thank you, ladies. I have supplies linked below, some of the general supplies I've been using. I have a link to my email list. If you have not signed up already, take some time and sign up for that email list. I hope you have a fantastic day, and as always, keep it creative.